Today we're going to pit the Steel Brigade figure against itself. We're pitting the classified against the original. Which is better? Let's figure it out. Yo, Joe! Now I remember this guy and really in order to use the Steel Brigade figure, really what you need to do is you need to pair him up with the Hasbro Selfie series, right? Which I haven't done yet, but I, but I probably will. Um, because, you know, this was a mail away, you, you know, you would get a file card that was customizable and, you know, it would be you, this is supposed to be your character, your in to the GI Joe team, uh, which was, uh, an awesome concept. So I think the pairing with the Hasbro selfie series, that's the way to go, uh, for, for, if you want to have that same experience. And I don't know why they didn't do that. They should be. You should be able to get the Steel Brigade body, but I suppose we can just head swap and, you know, put on your selfie series head and that'll work fine. But that should have been part of the deal if they really wanted to capture the spirit of the of the original Steel Brigade. But other than that, what I always thought of the Steel Brigade is as the sort of legions, you know, the troop builders in G.I. Joe. That's what they are. I mean, the troop builders of G.I. Joe, right? And that way, they're really like, they're the red shirts, right? They're like... Duke, uh, Scarlet, Snake Eyes, Roadblock, and three Steel Brigades go on a mission, and those three Steel Brigades ain't coming back, right? <laughs> like, we're no, they're gonna, and you know, that is very appealing to me, because, yeah, I don't know about you, but sometimes I like Cobra just a little bit more, like, I'm kind of more into Cobra, hence Destro is my spirit animal, I wanna, you know, I want people for Destro just to kill, you know, Destro to indiscriminately murder and shoot a wrist rocket up somebody's ass, and that would be the Steel Brigade. Now, I could kill, you know, we, we may be one who kills their characters regularly. For me, it was an ongoing story, so I'd have problems killing. I couldn't do the thing like G.I. Joe Resolute did, where they killed Bazooka. And... Not a mark on him. Killed and hidden before the charges were planted. Uh, so I didn't often kill them. I did a few times, but I would, uh, I would more likely just, you know, throw in a couple of these, and um, these would be the people that... The, Storm Shadow or Destro would indiscriminately kill. That was their, the place they held in the G.I. Joe storyline was that. So right off the bat, we get the box here and we've got a callback to the opening of G.I. Joe where they're fighting on the Statue of Liberty. So that's pretty great. I gotta admit, I really love that art. You know, love the callback. It's coming with a lot of stuff here. You can see there's just a ton of um, fire and firepower and you know smoke that you can add into the weapons on the side here we've got the art and that's pretty great I think they're using the same person for a good percentage of this and um, really strong art I like the callback here I like they've been doing these callbacks in the box arts and some of them I'm not getting because it's, it's been a while since I've seen the whole cartoon but um, some of them I, I am getting, and this one is a very obvious one. Now, uh, let's open it up and check it out. Okay. Now, here we go. We've got our Steel Brigade duo. we got a man and a woman here, which is great. I don't know how I feel about having for the red shirts that I'm just going to indiscriminately kill having a woman. Um, I guess I feel fine about it. Feminism, you know? Everybody, you sign up for the team, uh, be prepared to be murdered by Storm Shadow. So, one of my favorite things I think they're doing with the packaging here is they've got this black and white um, renditions of the characters here. That is really great stuff. I love the look of this. Um, this art is very strong. I think they should stick with this. I think it's the same artist. Um, I like this. Uh, I like this round. And I, I'd like to see them stick with this person. And just keep it consistent. The last round they were doing weird crap. Where they'd have like a different style every time. With a different artist. And I gotta admit. Um, it was very hit or miss as to whether it was good. Uh, when it was good, it was it was cool, and it was fun to see the different styles. And then when it wasn't, it was terrible. And uh, so I don't want to really. I think they should continue with something more like this guy. Okay, everybody sort of talked about this. Um, is that they're small, they're little people, 
and this is weird. Uh, I'm not really sure why Hasbro decided to do this. We got here a woman character, and she is very small, which is fine. You get some small ladies in the world. And um, this guy is... Now let's just check him against Gung Ho. This is the biggest character I think they made here. And he is just massive in comparison. It just... It looks like he can just throw these, these folks around. And, uh, yeah, it's it's just uncomfortable. I don't know why they made Oompa Loompa figures. Um, I'm not sure what their thinking was there. So, here we've got some armor that's removable. Yeah, he does look a little bulky. And it's a bit weird. Um, but the design is nice. They look good. The helmet is really interesting looking. Um and uh, but the size is a bit weird and the armor is a bit weird too you can take it off so if you want to you can just and i actually think he might be a little bit better with the armor off and that's kind of nice for a troop builder that you can at least the guy i think the woman maybe needs it but the man looks a little bit better without their armor let's break open the Check out the stuff here on the locker. And probably, I would say, the most exciting thing that this thing comes with is, of course, we'll pop these open. Whoa, all right, that's a lot, this is good. The, the, the highlight of this set is the jump jet packs, uh, which we, we certainly wanted. And um, that is just going to make this set and two of them where we can use them. I mean, I, I'd use mine with Stalker. Cause Stalker was the guy that was known for using the jump jet pack in the comic. Here we go. We can put the jump jet pack on them. And now we got a few different guns here. We got a lot. This is some nice. Uh, this is not a bad weapon. There's been some some colorization here. Some uh, looks like a grenade launcher. A little bit of green to differentiate itself. We got another rifle with a scope. Um, again, some some green in the detail here that makes it look nice. Get a little smaller gun here. We've got. All, uh, a couple pistols. They've got clips for each weapon. I always like the clips. I wish they came with multiple so that they would have the ability to, you know, because you're reloading constantly in battle, I would imagine. So you want to have a few clips on you. And the fun of having a clip is the fact that it runs out and you're going to throw it, toss it aside, and get yourself a new one. Um, so with the one clip, uh, you know, and not a place to store it. I'd like to see them putting places to store different clips on the figure for 25 bucks. You can give me a couple of these things. But anyway, okay, so we got some nice weapons. We've got a couple of knives. There's some detail on there. Uh, and some pistols. We've got some gun. We've got a little bit of um, rapid fire machine gun action here. That looks pretty good. We've got jet jet pack um streams they look pretty good they turn a little bit maybe you can use that as sort of a curving of the jetpack you got a second helmet and i'm not really sure what the deal is with that let's pop off the head and take a look head comes off nice and easy and um, so we've got an alternate I don't know, maybe they could be different squadrons or something. I'm not really sure what the point of that is. So loaded up, we've got um, there's a lot here. we got some smoke here that we can add to a barrel. This could be very useful if you're doing any photography, I think specifically. Um, I like the look of that. So there's a lot there. So there we go. That is the Steel Brigade Trooper. And so, what's better? What's better? Yo, Joe! Okay, I'm gonna just, I just gotta get this out of the way. Of course, of course, I understand that the classified figures are in general better figures, right? They look better on a shelf, they're better made, but I think we gotta give an edge 
to the original for a few different reasons. So we're going to start with just always giving the original just a little bit of an edge. Man, it's the job of the classified to beat it. You know, six inches is better than three and three quarter inch. Size does matter. I'm sorry. You can't do a lot with three and three quarter inches. Six inches, it's average. It's, you know, it, you can deal with it. It's not, it's not 12 inches, but you can work with it, okay? Uh, there's a few things that I'm just automatically going to give to the three and three quarter inch. Why? they are the winner the the packaging man woman standing against fire explosion always gonna beat whatever they're doing right here okay always hector garrido's art awesome some of the art here is fantastic too so i'm not taking it away from these artists uh especially the new guy they got on some of these is really impressive but nah, they ain't hector garrido they don't have that uh that gorgeous painted look here second thing yeah, these guys are more detailed, and they're fantastic, and they look incredible, and you put them on a shelf, they're wonderful, but this motherfucker was $40, okay? This guy was like, you know, he was a mail away, but, you know, in general, the G.I. Joe, you, you know, maybe get him three, five bucks, depending on where you went, KB, Toys R Us, right? You get it at a different, uh, different price, but, you know, we're talking about $3 versus 25 so the little guy wins there. Third, uh, as great as these can be, you're just never going to have, like, the play sets. And, you know, we get the His Tank. It costs $300. You know, um, if you try to make an aircraft carrier, it would be $3,000. It would, you know, and it wouldn't fit in your house. You know, so, so again, you know, I'm just... It just playability these are going to win as the better toy um even though i do love what hasbro is doing right now with the classifieds and then it's now though the comparison is all about what's better in this case did hasbro you know classified go out of the way and make something that is better than the original did they expand upon the original Yo, Joe! There's some problems with this, these two, which is, you know, one, they're Oompa Loompa size. There's got, got some weird design issues of the uh, armor, but you can take it off, which is nice. But overall, do I like this figure? I kind of love it um, more because I want to do the thing that I said I wouldn't do with the original, right? Like, if I go and make this guy and I make him me, and this is me because I ordered him, and he's got a little file card that says this is... Mark IV, we John G.I. Joe. I'm probably not going to kill him, right? I'm going to kill the fuck out of this girl. I ain't going to kill the fuck out of this guy, right? They're just, we're talking about Destro's just going to be wrecking them. And I feel like we didn't have a good troop builder for the, the, in the original, because this guy was hard to come by, right? He was hard to get. If you got one, you got one. Great. But you mailed away for it, and, you know, you'd have to multiply them. Whereas, you know, maybe you had 20, 30 Cobra soldiers, or you had a, a handful of Vipers that you could um, keep reusing and reusing and reusing. So it was a lot easier to do that troop builder. So I would have loved to have a legit troop builder back in the day. Um, and this wasn't, never really did that right because it was all about this was really hasbro selfie series you know 1.0 um and you know and he's and he wasn't the greatest figure he was he's basically made up of you know a lot of airborne parts giant head he's got a giant head look at that noggin look at the size of that boy's head Shh. i'm not kidding it's like an orange on a toothpick Shh. you're gonna give the boy a complex well that's a huge noggin i don't know how he can like lift his stupid head up and actually fight, you know, I mean, it's like, he's just be like dangling off, wobbling, you just wouldn't, he didn't look good, I don't think it's the greatest figure they ever made, um, you know, it was a cool idea, but uh, not, not the best, so even though there's some problems here uh, with this set, uh, I love that there's two of them, I love that um, there's a woman, uh, I love that it came with the jump packs, and and that uh, and all the firepower and so even though there are some i'll admit yeah there's a few issues they're not perfect they're weirdly sized they're um you know the design is not a hundred percent a nail it 
Um, I actually think uh, they're pretty great for troop builders, and so I'm going to give this one to the G.I. Joe Classified. Let me know in the comments what you think was better. Did you have one of these guys when you were a kid? And if you did have this guy, what would you name him? Were you playing him as you, or did you just use him as a generic troop builder that you had Storm Shadow chop the head off of, um, as, as I did? Like and comment if you would. Subscribe, please. Yeah, because that's what you have to say.